Binghamton's number one for New Country, 98.1 The Hawk Hawk Morning Show. Glenn and Tracy uh, with Colby Oakley in studio. We would have been back sooner, but I was busy eating a uh, sandwich <laughs> from anybody? <laughs> Strange When he brew. says he was busy, like, he literally means that. I was he having was, one of these egg and cheese on house bread. What did you have there, Colby? I am eating the, uh, the bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant mm. from, uh, who, who is it sponsored by? Strange, Strange Brew. Strange 137 Brew. Right. Washington Street, downtown Binghamton, right around the corner. Rasp- yes. They brought some raspberries and strawberries. Amazing and food. Those guys so, went. Thank you guys for yes. bringing us Yes, very much. Right, Beyond. So uh, you have a new EP out that we're going to talk about in a moment called Where Would I Be? Now, one of the songs on it that uh, we're going to hear in just a moment is called First Kiss. Tell us a little bit about the song, what's behind it, and all of that. Yeah, so this song... Um, was the first song I co-wrote actually when I got to Nashville. I met a guy at Starbucks that you know I'd pl- I'd t- been talking to him and everything, and and he said, "Well, let's get together." He turned out to be a great guy, and um, and we just sat down one day and we started writing this song. And uh, there's kind of a funny story. I, I kind of think it's a funny story. Is uh, my girlfriend and I, our first date wasn't anything like this. You know, this song is very romantic and everything. It's not that it wasn't right. you know, a romantic thing. <laughs> Backpedaling, how, 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 right, how it would go in your mind. Like, <laughs> yes. It, how you envision in your mind your first date would be. Exactly. That's oh, that's everything. Yes. What you see in the movies and, and the big... And it didn't go like that? Yeah, so our first Shocker. our first date, Doc. you know, we, we ended up uh, watching a movie just at her place, and it was late, and we wanted to grab something to eat. And the only thing that was open was Denny's on Front Street. A little plug there for Denny's. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> no, I, but anyway, so we went there, and they got the huge parking lot out back, and yeah. I was driving a Hyundai Elantra at the time, the stick shift, and she wanted to learn how to drive it. So I was like, all oh, right, good cool. Lord. So, yeah, so, so we're out, you know, and it's early in the morning. Now it's like right. 1, 2 a.m., you know. And so we're driving around this parking lot, and uh, I see a cop, oh. you know, and I'm like, oh, boy. Two o'clock in the morning. This ain't good. Yeah, you're out yeah. driving around. Can't find your way out of the parking lot. This ain't good. So uh, anyway, the guy, he, he turns on his lights, and then we're heading straight at each other because he pulls oh, no. to the front. And I'm thinking, I don't know, so you can stop the car. But. It stalled out on us. We stall out. So the car's just sitting there. It's one way to stop it. Yes, that, that worked. But now my lights are on. The car's still on. And the guy gets out. He's a very nice cop. And he figured that I was teaching her to drive it and whatnot. But uh, On your first date. On the first date. So so this first kiss was, I, I think, how she probably oh. wanted it to go. But unfortunately... Uh, it went, it went more my style way. and not so much that way. So yeah. All right. Well, here it is. It is called First Kiss. Colby Oakley. From his EP, Where Would I Be?, which is coming out May 12th, next week, a week from today.